Hey, uh, how's it going? My name is Cave. <laughs> We're gonna do the Returnal Fresh Fire Glitch Run. Um, a little bit about me, I have the world record in this category as well as a few others. Um, I'm an Aquarius, uh, and for lunch today, I had a bunch of the candy that was out in the lobby. Uh, behind me, I have some other runners of Returnal, so if you guys all wanna go ahead and introduce yourselves. Yeah, I'm Pascal Cat. I also a speeder on this game. I guess I'm kind of the, the scholar of our group, and yeah, I'm very happy to be here to share this awesome game with you. And I'm Lunar Hostility, I speedrun the tower. I'm El Santiago, and uh, I'm known for as a melee sling with the spamming with the sword, so yeah. All right, um, before we get into the run, first things first, we do have the language in uh, bid war. Uh, it looks like French one, I just wanted to verify. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it looks like French won at fourteen hundred and fifteen dollars. Right. Shouts out! It's very, it's very important for language RNG, and we'll get into that. Just <laughs> keep in mind that you all did good. Um, so before we get into the run, just some quick things uh, with settings. Uh, I have sprint to always sprint. Uh, I back up my mini map distance a little bit. That's just quality of life stuff. Um, we also have in the UI, we make sure that we turn on the cycle timer. Um, that's so we can verify runs. Uh, and lastly, for my controls, I still use controller even though we're on PC now. Um, I was just so PS5 pilled that like I couldn't make the <laughs> switch. Uh, so I'm still using controller. And we just did some quick remaps uh, for our main movement tech, which we'll get into once we get there. But uh, we have dash on L1, melee on R1. Uh, I think that's the main stuff we switch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So with that, I'm going to restart the cycle. And our time will start once I get movement. Uh, so I'll count us down for that. All right, so run starting in three, two, one, start. So uh, for any of you that have not played Returnal, uh, this is Returnal. It's a third-person shooter, uh, roguelike bullet hell made by Housemark. It came out on PS5 last year or two years ago, uh, and then earlier this year it came out on PC. Uh, this is the first time we're showcasing it glitched. Very excited about that. Uh, but with that, we have uh, a bit of a doozy of a glitch right at the start. So, Pascal, if you want to talk a bit about Burglar Skip. Yeah, we call this bur Burglar Skip because it allows us to get past a locked door without grabbing a key, uh, which would normally require us to sit through a uh, cutscene that we can't skip. Uh, we were actually kind of hoping to be able to either delete that cutscene once it came out on PC or swap it with a, so some other amusing video, but that didn't work out because it, it seems to be um, rendered in engine. Uh, but yeah, this skip utilizes a glitch where if you, <laughs> if you jump up against certain geometries, it will zip you up. Um, huge shout out to Chattington Duck, the glitch finder in our community who just came in and started breaking all the things. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is a tricky one. Yes, I can definitely attest uh, Burglar Skip has taken a good chunk of my sanity. All right, we're going to give it like three more attempts. Uh, and then otherwise, we're just going to go watch the cutscene because I'm not, I'm not going to hold this up on Burglar Skip all day. We got cooler <laughs> skips coming up. This one's pretty minor. Yeah, this, this run, uh, this category would definitely not be possible without. Ooh, let's go. Oh let's my go. God. The weight of the world just came off my shoulders. <laughs> Holy cow. Let's go. So basically, for whatever reason, there's like only a handful. There's only two cutscenes you can't skip in the run, and one of them's at the very beginning. Um, so when you do that properly, you're saving like 40 seconds. Uh, I'm losing time. <laughs> but uh, I think it's more important that we show how it's done in general. Uh, yeah, shout out Duck for finding that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was saying this category would not be possible without the Chattington Duck. Mr. Duck. He's been cooking a little too hard in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, anyone want to talk about why we reset cycle here really quick? Yeah, so this is a skit that came up from um, a runner named Kiwi. It's really great. And there we typically used to fight a mini boss that we needed to progress, but we found if you just drop down into that area, restart cycle, come back out, you just don't have to, because we like saving time. That's uh, definitely what we do now. <laughs> it's so funny here. I, I love the. I play in English. English. Uh, a bit of an in joke is that there's language RNG in the game. Language has no effect on Returnal, but everyone plays in a different uh, subtitle and dialogue language combination, mm -hmm. and we all will swear by our combinations. Um, what do you guys usually play as? Oh, Italian with Chinese subtitles all okay. day. <laughs> <laughs> all day. Because I'm on PS5, I'm limited with my language RNG, so just Espanol um, subtitles and English. 
Right. Do you have a specific one, Pascal, or are you just doing not really? English? Yeah, I like yeah. I like the German and the Portuguese, but I also just play with Lunar made a bunch of save files for us. So his uh, his Chinese and Italian combo is fire. <laughs> Thank you very much. For the record, all the Celine voice actors absolutely yes. killed it. Oh, like, yeah. They also, all sound so good. Shout out to uh, Jane Perry for getting the BAFTA for leading performance. All right, so a couple things. One, I picked up the carbine. Um, it's an outdated route, but I'm picking it up for like safety marathon purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get more into that later. Um, for that room specifically, we look down as we're falling and we're mashing triangle so that we can get the cutscene of picking up this uh, teleporter ability before we land. And that just stops her from doing, um, whenever Celine falls a large distance and lands, uh, she likes to make it real dramatic, uh, but that's slow. So we try to avoid that whenever we can. Yeah, and Cave just picked up the first upgrade there that allows us to use the teleporter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and then coming up pretty soon, we do have our updated route. Uh, it's insane. Our other top runner, uh, Sawjaw Raptor, thought it'd be real funny to uh, come up with like route changes like two weeks before GDQ. Indeed. That'd be funny to make me learn it. Mm -hmm. But normally we used to not use the shotgun. Okay. Now we do. Oh, There's we got Narrow Maw, so that's good. Uh, enemies coming in, not great, mm -hmm. but we'll figure it out. So this is a lockdown. Um, we try to avoid these as much as possible. We used to be able to skip them, but not anymore. There's also three possible traits you can get when you pick up the, the, the shotgun there called the Spit Maw. Uh, we usually hope for Slug Shocks. That allows us to use it against uh, later bosses, but Narrow Maw will also be great for, uh, for the first couple of bosses at least. Right. We basically had like a, uh, like a tree of paths I would take based on what trait we got. So Narrow Maw is not the coolest one, but uh, it's definitely better than getting Wide Maw. So I'm pretty, I'm all right with that. It's also kind of a different, uh, quite a different round actually, because now we need to perform a certain number of kills, 15 kills, to unlock the first tier, the first trait. Mm -hmm. um, Very necessary for the third boss. Yeah, yeah, so we got to plan that into the route now. Before we would just uh, just use the base guns without any traits unlocked, which would actually mean that the the melee would be stronger than than, uh, than most of the guns. So you'll see us definitely use, utilizing melee as much as we can still. So there, uh, you might have noticed at the very beginning of the game where you normally go and pick up health, uh, I decided not to. Uh, it's a very very small time save, but it's kind of just like micromanaging. What I do there is while. Um, I'm killing the enemy that's spawning for the lockdown. I'll try to pick up the health there instead. It just saves a little bit of time of scanning the health at the beginning. Now, though, we have the sword, and we get into our main movement tech of the game, which is the DMJ. So if you want to go ahead and talk about that, Lunar. Yeah, we all love the DMJ. It's, um, as you can see, we do a dash, then we cancel it into a melee, cancel it in a jump. That carries her momentum very far. That's why you see these, like, leapfrog movements that they were the cave's doing. And this is just going to be tremendously useful for going fast, but then also for a skip later that is really cool, and then it just has a lot of applications. But DMJ is kind of the heart and soul of Returnal speedrunning, so yes. definitely recommend you try it out. It makes the game, it's a whole different game once you start doing it. Super that. useful casually, too. Yes. Um, Super fun, yeah. And that's why Cave remapped at the beginning, uh, just to make the DMJs a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And then here you notice that I'm actually killing the turrets, and that's because I'm trying to build up my uh, weapon trait Love so that I can it. get Narrow Maw. Yeah, turrets is definitely the good RNG there. Um, they're just super fast to kill. They're on the way. You don't have to really do too much for them. Uh, but here we're going to have Freaky. So Ellie, you can go ahead and talk to us a little bit about the first boss fight. Not going to lie, I didn't expect for you to get to this so quickly. Uh, <laughs> but Freaky gatekeeps real hard is the first boss. Uh, you don't have anything, obviously, is when you begin the game. Um, but yeah, we use the melee strategy here, uh, which is what, you know, the main draw for speedrunning for me, considering that I use the sword a lot. Um, the great thing about this new strat with the shotgun is that um, there's a certain rhythm and cadence to it. So once you melee, you have the uh, shotgun ready. And earlier there, you were able to see the freaky parry. Shout out to Mikiwi for finding that out. Uh, especially when um, we don't have a parry system here. So the melee actually, there we go. Oh, missed that. Um, the parry system uh, that we have here uh, includes the melee um, invincibility here. So that's just one way to save more time by not uh, dodging. But if we can have one dodo, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. 
we have a $5,000 donation from Fangamer. Hey everybody, Fangamer here. It's great to see that Total Zip passed $350,000 on its way towards $400,000. Keep those donations coming. We want to see that bonus game. You can also help another way. From now until the end of the event, 100% of the profit from sales in the Fangamer SGDQ 2023 official merch collection gets turned into donations like this one that support MSF's humanitarian mission. We've got some great Dune products available, such as the NES cart enamel pin, finale game pin featuring everyone's favorite bounty hunter, virtual attendee badge, and more. You can find the full lineup at fangamer.com slash GDQ. Yeah, we can change that really quick. Yeah, I was just wearing uh, some Hades Fangamer merch uh, yesterday. Love you, Fangamer. No problem. Uh, and with that, we're into Biome 2. We're going to skip that Calibrator because we're going to not actually level up our proficiency here. We're going to do that in the next Biome. Um, if you want to talk a little bit about proficiency, Pascal, and what that does with our guns. Yeah, so the proficiency level determines how many stat points you get on the guns as well as how many and which traits you can get and at what tier level you can increase your proficiency by uh, performing kills or getting certain pickups like that calibrator that uh, Cave just skipped at the beginning. But yeah, it's, it's pretty fundamental to, um, to return all. Also, if you ever want to learn how to DMJ, the desert's a fantastic place to go. It's wide open space, you can go pretty far. It's a really good spot. Uh, also, I mean, just I kind of like no hit freaky there. I don't know if that was that was mentioned. At yeah, all. that was kind of fun. Kind of nutty, like not to <laughs> yeah, not yeah. to you know flex or anything, but it was pretty good, pretty fast. Uh, there, that's something L brought up, I believe, at one point, where if you yes. shoot that severed uh, while you're all the way back there. Uh oh. Uh, if you shoot the severed while you're all the way back there, oh, bummer, uh, it will bring you right to the cutscene and move you further up um, in that section. Uh, so just like a quick way to save a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. L's got so many skips she's come up with here that we have to come up with different variations on L skips. So. I'm cool like that, I guess. So here I am trying to <laughs> keep track of how many enemies I've killed. Um, I still have a few more to go before I get Narrow Maw which is imperative before I get to the next boss. Otherwise, we're kind of just stuck with a not great shotgun for a boss that flies around, which um, not super ideal, but we should be good. I'm like one or two away. One more, yeah. Yeah, so we'll be, we'll be fine. My own two, great time though. Uh, climbing the tower is a good way to, you know, it's a good place to notate sort of where you're at time-wise, keep track of pace if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, here's a pretty good place to save time if you get good room RNG. Uh, that room I just passed was a great one. Uh, these two I'm going through now are not. <laughs> uh, but you might be noticing, for the majority of this run, I'm really not bothering killing enemies that are on the way. Uh, it just takes time. You're not like gaining levels or anything like that, so it's not super important to kill anything. When we do do the tower run incentive, however, then we'll be killing everything. So I'm kind of excited to, you know be able to show that I'm like actually okay at Returnal, not just like TMJ and past everything. <laughs> okay being used super leniently. <laughs> this boss is hype. Makes me on so, so sick. I'll, I'll change the game on this boss. <laughs> forward true. to hearing her explain it. Yeah, I believe last time I showcased Returnal at GDQ when we did the glitchless run, I don't think we were doing Melee, mm -hmm. so this will be new. Uh, but yeah, we can do donations during this first phase, uh, then we'll talk a little bit during the next two phases. So if you want to take it away, Anada. Sure, we have $20.36 from Larry the Pagan that says, it's that time! We have $55 from Chattington Duck that says, I'm so excited to watch Cave destroy this awesome game. $55 for my favorite biome in Returnal. The snow theme in Biome 5 makes it so cozy. <laughs> I got bad news for you, Duck. <laughs> I'm so going to be seeing a lot of that. We got time for one more. Uh, $5 from Popcorn Jacob says, proud of all of you. Aw, thanks, Jacob. Thank you, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, Jacob. Shouts out to uh, Larry, Duck, and Jacob, members of the speedrun community. Love those Here guys. Here we go. All right. Oddest Troller. Uh, usually before that in Glitchless, we just uh, keep our distance, but obviously not, because we found out that it's much quicker to uh, make him fly away if we just 
I don't know. Sword is the Aegis. Right. Um, and in general, throughout Ixion, our main strategy is just trying to take as little damage as possible um, so that when we go into Biome 3 in that boss fight, we can have a good stockpile of health. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just trying not, I mean, yeah. it's, it sounds hits. like bad advice, but just like we're trying to not get hit. It hits <laughs> very, very hard. Yeah. So. Yeah. Especially in the third phase. We'll definitely yes. have a little more talking in the third phase. Mm -hmm. um, but we can squeeze with in. The, uh, with the shotgun strats now, we're playing a lot more aggressive, a lot more risky, even the first two phases here. I never thought we could get any closer to Ixion until, of course, Sawjaw Raptor and <laughs> Shotgun Strat. Yes, huge shout out to Sawjaw Raptor. Sh yeah, shout out Raptor. Shout out Raptor. Shout out Raptor. That's our boy. Um, we, we can do another like two or three donations uh, before we get into phase three. Sure, we have a bunch of donations coming in. $20 from Mental Toast. It says, hey Cave, Mental here. I'm so stoked to see you on the stage again to showcase your absolutely amazing Returnal skills. It's so cool to see how far you've taken Returnal from those early days with just a few of us in Discord, <laughs> fighting daily for new world record times all the way to the GDQ stage twice. Best of luck with the rest of the run, but also new music when? <laughs> <laughs> And then $25 from Zach Byers. Cave, we are watching. Go fast. Proud of you for doing this for a good cause. Keep it real, kid. Mm -hmm. Appreciate All right. it. Yeah, uh, another quick auto scroller there. That's actually much quicker than I expected. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was insane. Fire. Auto yeah, that was and fire. what's great about this is that look at him, he has a sword too. And uh, that's when the combat really pumps up, considering he likes to go real close as well. And um, yeah. All those orbs and lasers and uh, I forgot to <laughs> shout out the orb room. But, uh, so this shotgun right here, you can see as he's meleeing, he's melee taking out castle. the fireballs, mm -hmm. which is pretty sick because those hurt. <laughs> Ixion also has a sword that if he starts the game with. Let's go. Let's go. That's really quick. Ixion was <laughs> really idea. fast. Nice. Yeah, he starts the fight with the sword in his chest and pulls it out of his own chest at the start of uh, basically really there cool. after the auto scroller. Great. And for some reason, there's a lot of contact damage on the sword, so we got to mm -hmm. be very careful not to get too careful when uh, not to get too close when we melee. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can incidentally run into the sword. Oh wow! Oh, uh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> update we just received. Amazing. It turns out we're gonna have to make a quick change to our language. <laughs> Apparently, last minute, German sniped the language bit war. So we're gonna Yay. fix that. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, we have a runner in the crowd, R2, Dad2. Uh, his language RNG is German, and he was jazzed when he saw German in the lead the whole time. <laughs> so I'm sure he's excited. What an upset. Uh, so here, uh, this is where our route's gonna change a little bit. Uh, if we had gotten slug shot on our shotgun, uh, we would have continued to use the shotgun in this biome. Uh, however, there is a glitch for the third boss that's a little prevalent. Um, and for marathon purposes, if I had used a Naramaw shotgun and gotten the glitch, we would have been here all day. Uh, so for that case, I'm switching over to the carbine, which is what we used uh, in the old route. But it's still, you know, it gets the job done. Whoops. Uh, Biome 3 is going to feature a lot of uh, using the new grapple that we received for killing Ixion, which we kind of glossed over. <laughs> no, it's and it's so useful. In addition to yeah. movement, the iframes on the grapple just really help. If I need everyone to give a uh, rest in peace Frosty oh, skip in the chat. Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> Frosty, um, shout out Frosty's community member who found one of the most awesome skips in the game. Unfortunately, it was too awesome to make it into the PC version. Yeah, for whatever reason, it still works on PlayStation on the current patch, but yes. on PC, uh, they like reduced the grapple distance or something. Mm -hmm. But you're able to, on PS5, grapple to that uh, one that I just did from the bottom floor where we just were. Uh, so on PS5, Ferocity Skip is awesome, and you'd love to see it. Uh, on PC, it's, it's by far the slowest pattern you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, that's how it goes. So through this entire sequence, Cave is climbing to a point where he's going to extend a bridge and head back to where he was originally. This skip is really cool. I can't okay. remember who found it, but it's definitely like a really just neat yeah. short time save. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That might have been a Raptor classic too. Probably. Or Fro that might have been Frosty also. I don't know. Someone found it. But you'll see, so <laughs> Cave won't even wait for the bridge to extend entirely before DMJing to try and catch it. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Extra nice. dash, always. So, yeah, you'll, you'll come up a handful of times, but um, in earlier versions, you used to always be able to dash, like, in midair after a DMJ. Nowadays, it just feels completely random. Also, we got Fast Tower. Which Let's is go! Uh, and Owl's new Fast Tower? Yeah, fast, yeah, fast yeah. Tower. Fast, fast, that's fast. what we call it. So there's two different layouts of this tower. As the name implies, one is much faster. And so we definitely want to get that, which we just did. So let's go. <laughs> and the oh. way you can tell. <laughs> nice. no, I wasn't worried at all. No, no. <laughs> I, uh, there was zero fear when I saw that. Uh, a way you can tell for the fast tower is by looking at the map. Um, the path that's slow will usually have like a health icon on it. So if you don't see the health, that means you're good to go and do fast, fast tower. But here is Nemesis. Um, at the beginning, I'm just going to be shooting at the weak point, uh, trying not to get hit. So we can do some donations during uh, this first phase. Great. We have $100 from HMQ Singen. So shout out to everyone in the Housemark Discord. And big thanks for breaking our game, Cave Cave Cave. Octo loves you. I love you, Octo. We also have $15 from Zenwall. It literally works every time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for representing Returnal on the biggest scene. French slash English best language combo. Portuguese if you actually want to PB, though. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, It works every time is a reference to the first burglar skip we did, where uh, I had a stream where I messed it up three times in a row, and I was talking about how awful it is and inconsistent. Uh, then I think the next one I got a first try, and I immediately obviously walked back my statement. But uh, yeah, we can do some more donations. Sure. P Princess 50 donates $25, just says, let's go. Shout out, Princess. Yeah, shout out, shout Princess. Out princess. The biggest supporters of the Returnal community. Yeah. <laughs> Probably yeah. knows everyone in the community. Yeah. Yes. OK, so let's hope we don't get this glitch. Yes, this is Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. I it. did nothing there, by the way. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It no, works. Gonna... That's GDQ magic. Yeah, <laughs> that is a point in the run where we usually all hold our yes. breaths because there can be a bug here in phase mm -hmm. two where the platforms are supposed to break up, but sometimes they do not. And if they do not, then um, it's kind of a run under. It's a, it's a big time loss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The game registers you as in the final platform, so it keeps shooting out these lasers and tracking and not you know, showing us this amazing pattern that we have here. Yeah, I think these patterns are a lot more fun. Yeah, it kind of defaults to the attacks Nemesis does when you're far away. Definitely. Uh, if you get Nemesis glitch. And it's so cool grappling to the other platforms as well. Yeah, so in between you'll be seeing that Nemesis will be moving to different areas. And then, like I was saying, you can grapple between the two, which is really cool. And you'll be seeing that in phase three, too. Grapple is very central to this fight mm -hmm. for the remainder. So with the shotgun, um, phase one obviously goes a little faster um, if you like hug the front wall. And then phase two here, we're going to see Nemesis teleport. Uh, with the shotgun, you're actually able to uh, beat the second phase of Nemesis before mm -hmm. it teleports. So that's where a lot of the time save is coming with mm -hmm. the shotgun strats. So you know, shout out Raptor again for oh, yeah. figuring that out and being someone that's uh, always pushing the time down. Yeah, yeah I believe. Uh Raptor said he always teleports after 42 seconds. So if you get right up close, uh, don't miss any of your active reloads, you, you can uh, wipe out phase two before he teleports. Phase two uh, down. Nice. And then phase three with the carbine is kind of easy. We're just going to sit all the way in the back. Um, the carbine has enough range to hit it from all the way in the back, so we don't have to worry about any extra attacks. Um, if we were using shotgun, uh, the platform RNG is kind of interesting because you're kind of waiting for the platforms that are floated up to line up in such a way that you can DMJ mm -hmm. uh, to get right on top of Nemesis here um, and try to kill it before it shoots you backwards. Um, but with that, we're kind of just going to sit far away and dodge the lasers that shoots at us so we can do a couple more donations. Of course, we have $25 from K Marge. Super stoked for you to be there, Cave. Best of luck, less than three. Less than three. And $50 from Rassi says, good luck to Cave. Shout Thank out. You. K Marks, we respect legends. <laughs> One more? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We can do like uh, two or three more. OK, awesome. We have $20 from Kiki that says, go Cave. So proud of you. Less than three. Thank you. And then $25 from The Crank Machine. Love to see Returnal back at GDQ. It was an honor to host your 2022 run. Good luck, have fun. Appreciate it, man. 
I think now might also be a good time to talk about the, uh, the alt fires, because there's only one alternate fire that can really reach. Nice. Mm -hmm. so. There's only one alt fire that can reach uh, Nemesis. But one of our favorite alt fires is, of course, <laughs> horizontal, horizontal barrage. barrage. <laughs> and there's a big uh, horizontal barrage war in, uh, in our community. I don't, you probably can't see, but my shirt says horizontal barrage is blue. It's green. It's green. It's, it's Some green. people are wrong and think that it's blue, but that's OK. It's fine. <laughs> it's actually green. Uh, yeah, we totally missed all fires, but we can talk about that when we get into act two. We can uh, squeeze in another uh, two donations while we wait for this cussing to end. Sure, we have $25 from the astronaut. It says, hey, Celine, it's the astronaut. I'm outside. Can you open the door? It just won't let us go. <laughs> <laughs> Will not let you go. And then we have $50 from Cypress, says Elder Scrolls Anthology. Yes, chef. Just a reminder, we do have that coming up. We're at $9,500 out of 20,000 to unlock that Red Guard run. So keep those donations coming. <laughs> I've never heard. I've never, <laughs> never, played, never, I've never played with Jeremy Celine. So, um, <laughs> other than the burglar skip that looked a lot like just kind of standard Act One strats, but Act Two, Pascal will be breaking down. Act Two is going to start looking very different, and the glitched one. Really yeah, glitched Act Two is where the glitch category for sure like yeah. becomes the glitch category. Act One is very, very vanilla, like outside of the burglar skip. Yeah. Um, which, you know, a quick note, you know, we're still a relatively young community. Like, we didn't even find glitches that existed on PlayStation um, until it came to PC. Uh, so, you know, if you enjoy what you're seeing, we have, like, a Discord that you can join. And we have a lot of people in there and a lot of um, guides and resources that you can look at uh, to get you caught up and, you know, get you started on Returnal Speedrun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our Discord linked to right off the speedrun.com or channel page. Matter of fact, there was tech being found literally last night leading up to this morning. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, we can get to that. that. Yeah, we're going to yeah. get to that. So, so there, I reset the cycle. Uh, we'll get to it. I'm going to reach a house at a certain point. Um, and we're resetting because we need the house to be next to the key door of this biome. Um, and that's because we have a very specific setup that Pascal will talk about once we get there. Uh, but for now, we're going to come here, pick up our uh, final weapon, the Electro Pylon Driver. Mm -hmm. Did not get horizontal barrage this run, so we unfortunately cannot. Oops, we unfortunately cannot have uh, you know receive help determining once and for all if it's green or blue. <laughs> really, it's like cyan or like a teal, but it's, it's no fun to you know actually. Yeah. So normally, oh, orb or bloom. Shout out orbs. Um, normally in this biome, you would need to go down two different paths to get a special key uh, that allows you to access the boss door. So we'll do a, a glitch coming up in the house room that allows us to bypass all that. There we go. There we go, uh -huh. yes. So Kate's going to jump up on this vegetation thing, <laughs> alien. <laughs> <laughs> And the second part, this one can be quite tricky. Mm -hmm. Gonna enter it the right way. Yeah. You got this. Face the right way. This is a little oh. bit like oh. burglar skip for me, where. There, there we, go. we go. Nice, nice. There we go. Oh, no. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine, probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and then here, you're meant to go, as Pascal was explaining, you're meant to go down two different paths, fight some mini-bosses, go do some lockdowns, get a bunch of keys, but by doing this, uh, we go right past that door. Mm -hmm. So that skips half of Biome 4. Or like two-thirds, yeah. Yeah. And then coming up here, uh, the boss, Hyperion, there are actually three different rooms. Nice. Got the good one. Love to see got it. Got the good one. Yeah, there's three different layouts for this room that you can get, and two of them are kind of cursed. So this one is both faster and a lot safer. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Surely I don't, uh, I don't die here. That would. Mm -hmm. It's just too bad you can't see the, uh, the best boss in this game, but that's for first yeah. while, glitchless. Check out your previous GDQ hotfixes, folks. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna get the health thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so only a faster way. Okay, and that skipped in the entirety of Bio Five, which is why we said, uh, why we apologized to Duck earlier for his love of that biome. <laughs> it's it's a little bit of a shame because the B4 boss is like everyone's favorite, but we like saving time, so we'll right. that. Yes. Yeah, so there we skipped both the boss and an entire biome. <laughs> Um, and one quick thing, you can see here at DMJ, now we have underwater physics, so we can go even further. And the movement's pretty incredible down here. It's super fun. Mm -hmm. And it, technically, yeah, you could also go faster if uh, you don't pick up that health file, but that, that was probably a good, uh, good call right here. Yeah. Especially with that squid. We're not, we're not going for a PB here, so yeah. I'm, gonna go, I'm actually going to grab uh, a fair bit of health on the way, even if it's a little bit out of the way. Stalactite. stalactite. That stalactite. <laughs> I, I swear the devs were thinking about us. Yeah, if you bump into that stalactite, it's kind of a um, rite of passage. If you bump into that stalactite, you'll, you'll just fall down. you got to be careful rounding that corner. No, uh, yeah, down no malfunction missiles. So missiles. Okay, yeah. we're, 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 we, I won't will them into existence. But. All right, then here comes one of the bigger skips of Biome 6. Uh, this is where DMJ comes in great handy. So you're meant to fall down this pit and fight a mini boss. But with the DMJ, uh, we can just sort of clear the pit. And here, we are now Orb. given the technology to just see orbs. They've been here the whole time. Guys, there have been orbs wow. everywhere <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> uh, but these orbs are going to activate platforms for us to jump on. So if you've ever played the game, you're like, that's weirdly out of reach. Uh, it's probably because you don't have this upgrade yet. That's oh. also a rite of passage, falling down into that mini boss pit. Oh, this drop is so intense. So, so cool. coming up, we've mentioned Duck a few times. Uh, in another effort of being funny, he thought it'd be hilarious to find a key skip for this door, uh, like what, less than 24 hours ago? Yeah. So I'm just going to go for it. I practiced it like a few times in the uh, like practice room. I'm sure I'll be fine. Can you imagine the audacity, the gall of this man to find a skip literally the day before? What a mad lad. So you're meant to go down a different path and get the key to this door. But if we do a DMJ where we're able to dash afterwards. Nice. Oh, OK. So we need, oh, oh. maybe. No. Nope. Nope. All right, that wasn't high enough. We need to get high enough on this platform to uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's there see. We go. So, yeah, we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. Again, I'm kind of spitballing at this point because I, I practiced it like a handful of times this morning and last night after uh, he sent us a video. That saves so much time. Yeah, so we didn't have to go get the key. That saves so much time. And now we're going to go straight to Ophion. This is the final <laughs> boss. <laughs> this is insane. I can't believe that worked us. out. That's insane. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to fall down here somewhere, I think. <laughs> Uh, Shirley will find Ophion somewhere through these rocks. Uh, yeah, this yeah. looks right. Yeah, here we go. All right, and now nice. we're at Ophion. Yeah. So oh, you want to talk about what we're doing here? Yeah, Ophion is uh, the easiest boss, um, especially since you can just need to shoot the orbs and, and then shoot the orbs on her body. And uh, yeah, with the EPD, it just makes quick work because the pylon just does damage over time. And there are even two corals, well, alien coral vegetation things that can uh, provide you health, so you don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, with that, we can do some more donations while we uh, get through this last boss. Mm -hmm. Awesome! We have $50 from Fallen Astra Scout. Do you see the white shadow? So glad to have Returnal back at GDQ. Respect to all you runners for beating the entire game in the time it normally takes me to clear a single zone. <laughs> and then $15 from the Asp 00. Absolutely sick game that doesn't get enough recognition. Thanks for showcasing and eat more than candy, Smiley. Happy speedrunning. Oh, I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> you have time for like uh, two more. Ooh, okay. Actually, maybe we don't. I don't, know why I, that, I don't know why I thought that takes too, too long. fast. Too fast. Uh, so once you beat Ophion, you can actually DMJ behind her. Uh, and falling down the hole through this side is much faster. And then we're going to angle ourselves about at like... 5 o'clock. Trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to visualize. Uh, yeah, at 5 o'clock. Um, and we're looking for like a ledge that sticks out. 
and we're gonna dash in and do it. And that just makes like the end part like a little bit faster. But time's gonna come when we get a black screen uh, once we reach our final uh, big orb. Um, is it an orb or is it just lore master? Oh, it's orbish. <laughs> All right, and time. <laughs> Was it 30? That's not bad. And no, Chattington bad. also found a way to skip Ophion completely, right? Right. So we, yeah. So Solar there's going to be new tech. Like, yeah. he found a way to skip Ophion, but by that point, I was, like, already waiting back there. I'm like, I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah. It's bad enough I'm doing the door skip. But, um, yeah. Uh, just, you know, shout out to Housemark. Returnal's fantastic. If you've never played it, uh, I strongly recommend it, even casually. Uh, I think it's a beautiful game. Uh, shout out some other people in the community. Um, I don't know who do we like Larry, Mikiwi, Uprisen, Mental Toe, Zenwall, uh, R2 Dad 2, and Dice Math who are in the crowd right now. Um, Raptor. Raptor, especially. Everyone, you know, that participates. You know, you guys make this fun. Uh, you guys got any quick shout outs? No. Yeah, I think you did them. But yeah, I think, I think you covered everyone. Yeah. Definitely. Also, yeah, shout out to Returnal. It's truly a very special game. Please check it out. Mm -hmm. Shout out Housemark. We, we love all you do. Looking forward to your next game. If you're interested in trying the speed run, join the Discord. We got a lot of different categories, a lot of different lengths. Uh, the shortest ones are as low as like four minutes. Um, so yeah, and I think now we have an incentive to get ready for. <laughs> I'm still live. <laughs> do I need, do I need to yes. do Oh, I need to like change files. Do I need to? I should have. My bad. I don't want to just like cut out. I don't know if that's. We're going to be switching to another category called right. the Tower of Secrets. I just got to get different uh, like save files loaded in. And so it's that requires Cave to yeah, like manipulate some of the save files. Cause It'll take like one minute. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. All right. We have $100 from Hover Bantha. It says, Halo and Elder Scrolls incentives need to happen. Donate. Yes, exactly. Keep those donations coming. We want to meet those incentives. We are at just about $9,600 out of $20,000 to reach that Elder Scrolls Anthology bonus Elder Scrolls Adventures Redguard run. So keep those donations coming. Make sure that you are putting them into the incentives. We also have that bonus game three, Halo 3, coming up soon. Get the, your donations towards that as well. Along those lines, we have $50 from Espresso Yourself. Let's get the Halo and Redguard run incentives. More GDQ is best GDQ. Less than three, I agree. I always want more GDQ. So let's keep those donations coming. Let's get more GDQ, more awesome runs. Let's keep this going. All right, and you donated to get the Returnal Tower of Sisyphus Phase 1. We are going to get that going. Take it away. Tower of Sisyphus is an additional challenge mode that the Housemark added in patch 3.0. It's an endless challenge area, and as Cave said before, in Fresh File, you're generally trying to not kill the enemies, but uh, here we're trying to kill them all. And Timer, Cave, you were going to say about when Timer was going to start? Yeah, and then real quick, just introducing, you know, there's two new faces back here. Uh, R2, Dad2, and Dice Math. Uh, you guys also both run Tower. That's right. So we brought them up. They're a little more uh, experienced in Tower. So yeah, time will start when I go through this teleporter in three, two, one, go. Let's go. So yeah, we are trying to kill everything in the room as fast as possible in order to let the teleporter activate. And that's why you see the pace is a little bit different. Yeah, a lot yeah. faster than the last A lot category. faster. <laughs> and the pistol that Cave gets out of this chest is going to have a big determination on how fast the run will be ultimately. Nice. <laughs> we got home missile. Uh, so we're looking for home missile there. Home missile's faster than the other two. Uh, the way I was able to tell immediately is because we have this save file set up so that uh, all, the only thing unlocked on the save file is the pistol uh, with only homing missile on it. 
And this is what we want typically is these mobs of enemies that are all very close together. Those are always faster. Here we're getting keys. Those are going to allow us to go through some free rooms that are inevitably going to be a lot faster. Yeah, and in this particular category of phase one, we're only looking for one key, so we already got the key that we need, so we're good. Now we just got to crush the rooms and, and finish the run. <laughs> some of the things we're normally looking for, uh, when I'm doing like world record attempts, uh, currently it's set at like four minutes flat, which is devastating in a way. Um, <laughs> But we're looking for, again, the room where all the mobs are spawning close together. Uh, we're also hoping that that first pistol we pick up has um, either a shock stream or void beam or uh, what's the Doom one called? Doombringer? Doom yeah. Our, yeah. My favorite. Uh, we're hoping for one of <laughs> those like so that um, it can clear those mobs quickly. Um, and hopefully we don't get long room. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, There's, there's, there are a few run enders that are just pure. RNG. I don't think long room appears in phase one. Um, what else is there? So normally we'd look for, on room 9, we'll, there's like a chance where it's just a key room. So during world record attempts, I'll also um, be sure to not pick up keys randomly since it saves time just to pick up the one they give you for free. These that's, are the worst enemies, uh, Yeah, the that, that's really scary. Those guys say you, we intentionally, oh, it's faster brother. if you intentionally trigger them to blow up. But it's, it's super yeah. scary. Uh -huh. uh, look, uh, so yeah, that's that's the good RNG there, where you get the key that just spawns. Oh, Jason, are you gonna talk about disgorgers up here in a second? Because he's gonna probably get one here. Oh right. Um, so Tower has an added set of weapons called disgorgers. Um, there are three, four different kinds. Four, four yeah. different yeah. kinds um, that will really come in handy when we get to the final boss of, of Tower. Ideally, we'll have two. Um, in an ideal, ideal world, you can end up with three where you can use them on the last room to really, really blast through. They're kind of super guns that are going to look pretty wild when you use them. And while they're all very powerful, they're not all created equal. Yes. Uh, the, um, what's the best one? I, absolution. Absolution, yeah, absolution, yeah, absolution is, is the best absolutely one. Absolutely the best yeah. one. <laughs> it just just cleans house. We didn't Here, talk much we, about uh, alt fires and pick up some. We didn't talk about alt fires at all during the main run, and they're like a very massive part of the game. Yeah, right. because we want to talk about alt fires. Well, and they don't come up too much in tower runs, but tendril pod uh, should be useful for Elgos, where you can just fire that off right away and do massive amount of damage. Your alternate fire is an additional fire mode that has kind of a special attack. It has varying degrees of cooldown, but it does quite a bit of damage. Um, you can kind of see it in the lower left, and you want to strategically use that, um, and it can help in tower quite a bit to wipe out those mobs. Rooms. Another thing we're trying to do is as we're going through these rooms, we kind of want to end uh, rooms killing enemies like nearby. I think we got to have uh, Dire, Dire Beam. Beam. Dire, Dire Beam, let's go. Let's um, go. We're trying to end rooms nearby where the teleporter is, just so when we're done killing the final enemy, we can just mash triangle and get in there as quick as possible. And we're nearing the end of this run, just for perspective on how fast phase one can be. Yeah, to phase one runs are very, very quick. Um, a lot of fun to grind them out. Here's another example of a room where if we had something like Void Beam or Mm -hmm. um, shock stream. We could just use the all fire on all these enemies as they're right next to each other. Uh, but since we don't, we're just gonna have to <laughs> buy a mesh. And so this last boss here, Algos, at the end of every phase, so every 20 floors, you fight this same boss. There's different, how would you guys describe it? It's like there's multiple stages like for this next several, but then <laughs> yeah. once you hit four, it's the same every time. Yep. And then the tower goes forever until you die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's where the disgorgers come in uh, very handy. You can see that health bar just dropping like nothing. So we got great RNG where we actually managed to get two disgorgers, because oh, um, that oh. will eliminate a phase of Algos immediately. Time. And time. And Done. Time. <laughs> time. <laughs> so, GG. Uh, as soon as he hits zero <laughs> HP, it's over. Yeah. So that's phase one. Um, so this is just a good example of how Returnal, we have a lot of different kinds of runs. You know, you have Fresh File, New Game Plus. Uh, we have Tower Runs. We have recently came up with, no one's on the leaderboard for it yet, but like a complete story one where you have to do the secret ending of the main story and the secret ending of the tower. Um, but yeah, if you like that, you know, you can check out my Twitch. I'm usually just speedrunning Returnal. Um, you can check out the Twitches of all the people that have been here today. Um, and yeah, keep uh, donating money for a great cause. Uh, thank you for having us.
Yes, what a great run of both Returnal and then that Tower of Sisyphus Phase 1 extra content. We have a donation here, $50 from Daverboy, an incentive to add a bonus segment to an Elder Scrolls anthology run. Better get on that, Chef. Yes, Chef. <laughs> With that, we're going to take a short break. Go ahead, stretch, but stick around. We have far more awesome games coming up soon. Asus gaming monitors and peripherals give you the perfect blend of features and performance for the games that you love to play. Go to us.asus.click slash sgdq to start assembling your ultimate gaming setup. They're an industry leader in gaming and they have keyboards, mice, controllers, and chairs. So check them out for all you need. PM Studios is looking forward to more brilliant runs and memorable moments this year. Best of luck to all the runners and to all the indie fans in the crowd. 
Come see the PM Studios lineup featuring our hottest indie demos, such as bit.ly slash EPC dash Steam. You can join the PM Studios Discord at discord.gg slash PM Studios. We have $25 from Marco says, how much Elder Scrolls can we fit into one marathon? Let's get Redguard in there too. I agree. And right now we are at $13,187 out of $20,000 towards that Redguard run. Keep those donations coming. Remember, put your donations towards incentives. Hopefully, we can get that Red Guard run and get even more Elder Scrolls. Anonymous donates $10 and says, I love the Elder Scrolls series so much. Gotta donate to see more Elder Scrolls and more GDQ. Less than three. We have $5 from Happy Bear. Do you have a problem with your red clothes losing their color? Try Red Guard Bonus and watch your clothes retain their hue forever. Disclaimer, Red Guard Bonus may cause you to clip through walls, display NPC behavior, and take an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Thank you so much for that donation. All right, and with that, I have been Trainer Anade. I am going to be passing you over to the amazing Covert Muffin and the interview team for some interviews. <laughs> <laughs>